How's it going YouTube? Marius Hertz here and welcome to Battlefield 3 Flying Lessons. This will be a series of short, very short videos, typically under 5 minutes in length, that will be covering the appropriate use of each of the different aircraft available in the Battlefield 3 multiplayer. Today, lesson 1 is around basic movement of the helicopter and we'll cover getting up, getting down, moving forwards, backwards, left, right, how to turn whilst moving, and how to do a basic circle strafe. The helicopter we'll be flying today is the AH-6J Scout Helicopter. I found myself a nice, empty Noshahar Canal's Conquest map because there's three available, so even if two other people join, I should be able to respawn back into one if anything goes wrong. In order to switch between first and third person videos, as I'll be doing, um, or sorry, perspectives, as I'll be doing as these videos go on, on the Xbox controller it's right click the right thumbstick, it's um, click the right thumbstick on the PlayStation controller also, and it's C as default on the PC. Now to get the helicopter up and down, we have to increase the throttle. To do that, we use the right trigger on the Xbox controller, R2 on the PlayStation, and we use the W key by default on the PC. This increases the power, and the helicopter will rise up. Using the left key, or the um, left trigger on the Xbox controller, L2 on the PlayStation, or S on the PC, the helicopter will come down again. Now basic movement forward and back is controlled by the right thumbsticks on both the con console controllers and by the up and down keys on the PC keyboard. If we move it forward, you'll notice that the helicopter begins to move forward, the nose pitches down and we begin to lose altitude. And the reason we're losing altitude is because the helicopter has taken some of that energy that it uses to keep itself up in the air and it's using it to move it forward. In order to maintain altitude therefore we have to combine moving forward with an increase in throttle. So we're holding down the right trigger or the R2 button or the W key in order to keep the helicopter moving forwards. Now the same is true if we pull the right thumbsticks back or if we press the down key on the uh, PC keyboard the helicopter will move backwards. The nose will go up and we need to keep the throttle on in order to maintain our altitude. This forwards and backwards movement is referred to as pitch. Now the right thumbstick can also move the helicopter left and right. Um, if we move it to the left, now this will be the left arrow key on the PC, you see the helicopter rolls to the left. It also starts to turn to the left. If I put it back, I'll roll to the right. The helicopter will also turn slightly to the right as it goes down. Now as you see, everything we do to move the helicopter costs altitude. So if I roll it to the left this time, Keep the, um, keep the throttle on, the helicopter should move whilst maintaining altitude. So you notice the roll key also introduces a little bit of turn. Now using the left thumbstick or the D and A keys on the keyboard we can get the helicopter to spin about its central axis. This movement is known as yaw. So the left thumbstick from left to right causes it to spin, known as yaw. So to recap, we have pitch, or forward and backwards movement, and roll, which is the left and right movement. These are both done by the arrow keys on the PC keyboard, or the right thumbsticks on the console. And we have yaw, which is done by the left thumbsticks on the console, and the DNA keys on the keyboard. In order to control our movement, we combine all three of these different types of maneuver. So to move forward, pushing forward with the right thumbstick or the up arrow, and we're increasing the throttle. And to turn to the right, we can introduce a little bit of yaw using the left thumbstick or the um, A and D keys. The helicopter will, however, want to roll, so you'll need to add a little bit of roll as well. So if you're turning to the right, both thumbsticks should be going slightly to the right, as well as the right thumbstick pushing forward to keep your momentum up. And on the PC, that will be a combination of the D key, the right arrow key, and the up arrow key, as well as the W key for your throttle. And the same is true in the opposite direction. Just to give you a little look in first person, we're moving forward, the nose is dipping. Now you'll notice on the right hand side of the HUD you've got the yellow bar with the box with the numbers in it. At the minute we're flying at 57 meters. That's what the number means. We're going slightly down. The yellow box is a general altitude indicator. The little arrow, when it's sitting on that top bar, means that we're flying level. 
And if I introduce some yaw and a little bit of roll, we can complete a simple flat turn. All, all the while, let's move it forward. Now, to do a very simple circle strafe, I'll just strafe this building. We actually yaw to the left whilst moving forwards, but we're not introducing any roll. Every once in a while, I'm just going to bob the helicopter's nose down a little more than I usually would. So I'm pressing mainly left on the left thumbstick, or that would be uh, A on the keyboard. I have to look away there. I'm pressing a little bit forwards, and I'm giving it quite a lot of uh, throttle. What this allows us to do is, if you imagine there was infantry around the A flag here, if I go the other way, we'd be able to stay on target whilst not presenting a stationary target for them to launch a small or a tank shell at us. And that's just about going to wrap up today's lesson, folks. I hope you can join me next time, where I'll be talking about the actual role of the Scout helicopter and some of the weapon setups that I find most effective. Remember guys, you can join me on Twitter at MyersHertz, and don't forget to leave a like and a favourite if you enjoyed the video and want to see more.